Nuclear Quality Assurance versus Quality Management. These programs exist to help manage business effectively and put in place best practice methodologies. Elements within these practices focus on outcomes which lead to time and cost saving measures, increased efficiencies, and improve customer relationships. These programs are successful due to continuous improvements, gaining greater control over processes and therefore greater control over the results. These programs provide an organization, a business culture, which validates adherent quality of any product produced using best practice methodologies. Although some programs are meant to have universal application, cross-cutting multiple industries, there are specific industrial applications in which even the most widely used programs fall short. Although ISO has improved many organizations' best practices, proven successfully and widely used, a nuclear organization using ISO alone would not achieve the required level assurance required by nuclear industry. Many organizations interested in pursuing business in the nuclear industry find that their ISO 9001 program must be modified to meet the requirements of nuclear quality assurance. ISO 9001 was first published in 1987 by ISO, the International Organization for Standardization. It was based on the British Standard 5750 series of standards from the British Standards Institution that were proposed to ISO in 1979. However, its history can be traced back some 20 years before that to the publication of the United States Department of Defense MIL-Q 9858 standard in 1959. MIL-Q 9858 was revised into the NATO AQAP series of standards in 1969, which in turn were revised into the British Standard 5179 series of guidance standards published in 1974, and finally revised into the British Standard 5750 series of requirements standards in 1979 before being submitted to ISO. Note, ANSI N45.2 discuss the requirements for auditing, which now have moved into NQA1. The fundamental differences in ISO quality and nuclear quality is that the ISO quality is driven by market feedback, while nuclear quality is driven by equipment safety requirements. For example, the OHSAS 18001 Occupational Health and Safety Management Systems Requirement Standard, the OHSAS 18001 2007, establishes requirements for an occupational health and safety management system to enable an organization to control its occupational health and safety risk and improve its performance. OHSAS 18001-2007 was developed to be compatible with ISO 9001-2000, which has been replaced by the ISO 9001-2008 and ISO 14001-2004 management system standards to facilitate the integration of quality, environmental, and occupational health and safety management systems by organizations should they wish to do so. Through governmental policy and legal or statutory instruments, a member state might require a regulatory body to put in place regulatory and management systems for establishing policies and objectives, and for implementing them such that objectives are achieved in an efficient and effective way. It is the responsibility of the operator to put in place a management system that satisfies these requirements. At the interface between the nuclear facility operator and a supplier of items and services, the operator may require the supplier to put in place a management system for the delivery of items and services that satisfies requirements imposed by the regulatory body. The aerospace industry recognized the need for additional requirements with ISO 9001. This led to the development of a standardized quality management system for their aerospace industry, AS 
9100. Aerospace industry is most aligned to the nuclear industry for the required level of emphasis on safety and regulatory oversight. IAEA GSR Part 2 requires that health, environmental, security, quality, and economic requirements be considered in conjunction with safety requirements to help preclude possible negative impacts on safety. ISO 9001 Risk-Based Thinking assists in determining the extent of documented information. While risk-based thinking for individual nuclear sites affects changes in the maintenance requirements on a case-by-case -case basis based on existing records. NQA1 shows greater enforcement for compliance and quality than ISO 9001. Non-nuclear pressure vessels in accordance with ASME Section 8 use ISO. IAEA GSR 3 requires that health, environmental, security, quality, and economic requirements be considered in conjunction with safety requirements to help preclude possible negative impacts on safety. Due to the changes and updates in NQA1 and ASME Section 3, many requirements have been updated. Uh, examples of changes and updates. A certifying engineer under the review of qualifications and record retention. Additional 90 days time frame for audits. Updates to the requirements for nonconformances and corrective actions. Software design control and record retention. Lack of requirement specificity in ISO 9001 means that licensees and suppliers must accommodate integrated coverage of 10 CFR 50 Appendix B and ISO 9001 provisions in an hierarchy of QA program documents to demonstrate rated coverage. Licensees quality programs must contain provisions for assuring adequate specification and verification of technical and regulatory requirements to all suppliers, particularly those having ISO 9001 program. Most used nuclear standards reflect on industry experience and current understanding of the quality assurance requirements necessary to achieve safe, reliable, and efficient utilization of nuclear energy and management and processing of radioactive materials. These standard focuses on the achievement of results emphasizes the role of the individual and line management in the achievement of quality and fosters the application of these requirements in a manner consistent with the relative importance of the item or activity. The emphasis on the component versus a process oriented approach assures the safe operation of any nuclear power plant. ISO 19443 Quality Management Systems, specific requirements for the application of ISO 9001 and IAEA GSR Part 2 requirements by organizations in the supply chain of the nuclear energy sector. Here we see a list of the safety principles of the general safety requirements and specific safety requirements. The International Atomic Energy Agency requirements are not directly linked to the requirements of NQA1, ASME Section 3, or 10 CFR 50 Appendix Bravo. The Canadian Standards Association are supplementary requirements that's required in addition to ASME Section 3. Requirement two is demonstration of leadership for safety by managers. Requirement three is the responsibility of senior management for the management system. Requirement four are goals, strategies, plans, 
and objectives. Thank you. And if you have any specific questions regarding this webinar, please send those questions to the email listed below. And for any general inquiries, please send that to getinfo at hsb.com.